Joe Rogan is an American comedian, actor, martial arts expert, UFC commentator, podcaster, and all around badass who has recently just increased his net worth profile to a staggering $100 million. Joe first came to the public's attention after appearing in news radio before going on to host the hit reality series Fear Factor and combining his talent for entertainment with his passion for martial arts by joining forces with UFC to help popularize MMA. But it would be his late career renaissance where he reinvented himself as one one of the most popular podcasters on the internet that would have him swimming in so much dough he could afford to buy a $5 million home in Bell Canyon, California. It's been rumored that Joe Rogan makes as much as $30 million a year for ad reads and YouTube advertising through his podcast. And while that may sound like a whole lot, it's only a drop in the bucket compared to the deal Joe just signed with Spotify to become the exclusive home of the Joe Rogan experience for reported $100 million. That's why I signed with Spotify. <laughs> I'm like, I got plans. I'm riding this wave right into the rocks. <laughs> Come with me! With the news of his contract making headlines all over the world, what better time than now to take a look at the house of a bona fide success story? Today, I'm taking you through Joe's mansion in Bell Canyon, California, as well as the 14,000 square foot warehouse he uses as a studio for his podcast company, which is so much more than simply that, even if it was pretty empty when he first moved in. I'll also check in on a recent rumor that despite having just purchased this new amazing home, Joe is already thinking about his next move. The taxes here are ridiculous. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're taking a look at the home and workplace of the world's most infamous podcaster and strongman comedian, Joe Rogan, here for you on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and stars like Shaquille O'Neal and Floyd Mayweather, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Last year, Joe spent nearly $5 million on this amazing mansion in Bell Canyon, California. Joe has called Bell Canyon home since purchasing his first starter home for $2.2 million back in 2003, and while that house was no doubt nice, it probably couldn't hold a candle to his new one. According to Billionaire World News, Bell Canyon is one of Southern California's wealthiest communities, and one look at this home proves it. To start with, a major reason this area is so expensive is due to its remote location in the Ventura County boundaries, which means that Joe gets to enjoy the entirety of this open concept home in absolute peace and quiet. He's got gorgeous balconies that look out onto rolling hills populated with other beautiful homes and a heavily wooded area. Nestled snugly onto one of those balconies is a magnificent infinity pool for Joe and his family to get some laps in as well as a fire pit and a hot tub. Inside the house features 8,720 20 square feet of living space, including eight bedrooms and nine bathrooms. As soon as you walk in the front door to his home, you can see almost the entire place, including down into the bottom floor, the dining room, out onto the patio, and into any of the multiple living spaces. Basically, what I'm trying to say is this house is one giant room separated by glass walls and a second floor. This design ensures that there's no shortage of natural light, and the high ceilings coupled with the white walls also help keep the space as bright as possible. Joe's master bedroom is on the bottom floor of his mansion. And like every other room in his home, the bedroom is completely open both in terms of the indoor space and allowing for quick access to the outside, which means that Joe gets to enjoy views like this one from the comfort of his own bed on a regular basis. On the second floor is a cozy seating area with another tremendous view. This space continues on to the dining room and a more casual living space complete with a fireplace and television. To the right of this living room is Joe's kitchen, the place where he cooks up all his meat. Joe's diet has become widely publicized on his show and he spends a lot of time talking about his meals made up of a variety of different proteins. But the real question is the one that's on Sebastian's mind. For me, I'm thinking how the hell does he get the meat uh, like from from top to bottom, like medium rare throughout. You know, mm. like th that's uh, for me. That's more of a learn. A le <laughs> I can teach you, Sebastian. I can teach you. You know so, what the key is? Cooking it slowly. That's okay. the key. Of course, when you're cooking meat as often as Joe does, you need an elite grill to get the most taste out of it. Joe has opted for a Traeger grill, which can easily set you back a few thousand dollars. But your guests will be awestruck whenever you open up this Tesla of grills. Happy Easter, everybody. I'm out here cooking a leg of lamb for Easter 
on the Traeger grill, my favorite way to cook. And uh, about to check it out right now, it's done. Oh my goodness, look at that. I have uh, all these little slices in here, and I inserted pieces of garlic and rosemary. Oh, this smells so good. Happy Easter. Is it just me, or did it sound like a fighter jet was roaring up after he opened that bad boy up? That's one powerful grill. Now, if you've ever watched Joe's show, then you know that he loves to both pamper himself and pump some mad iron. So, of course, he has spots in his home to do both of these things. He's got a fully equipped home gym and after spending some time ripping off some reps in there, he likes to calm his body down in his beautifully lit bathroom, which looks like the very definition of elegance. Now that we've taken a look inside his home, let's visit the other place that Joe spends a good portion of his day, the 14,000 square foot warehouse where he films his podcast located in Woodland Hills, California. This self-described man cave is not only where Joe works day in and day out, it's where he makes his dreams a reality and surrounds himself with everything he could possibly want at his fingertips. We all know hobbies are a source of spending and Joe has decked his entire studio out in all of his favorite things. Let's start with his digital archery range. Bullseye! We're coming back! That's bullshit. Quarter in two. That was a perfect shot. I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> oh, shit. He's in three. I want to see bullseye in a row. Time needs a bullseye. How many workplaces do you know that can feature something like that? I can't think of any. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Joe also got a private sports and conditioning gym on site that includes a sauna and a pool table. Shoot, uh, you know, any color or any solid, or any stripe rather, any solid. But whereas in uh, nine ball, you play in a rotation, so every shot, there's no options. You're either hitting you're either solids or, or stripes. No, no, you're, nine ball is, you're shooting the balls one through nine. The gym looks the part of a commercial gym with its mirrored walls, rubber flooring, high ceilings, and proper lighting. It's chock full of the latest and greatest in equipment, including Joe's own Onnit brand, which includes one of Joe's favorite products, kettlebells. The strength and conditioning side of the gym was supplied by Rogue Fitness, a brand that Rogan has been using for years now, and there's even a combat side to the gym, which features Fuji mats, heavy bags, and a bag rack system. When he's done getting his training in, he can quickly cool down with the latest in athletic technologies, a cryogenic chamber, as well as relax in his sensory deprivation tank and experience some natural DMT in all of its mind-enhancing glory. Essentially, it's a tank filled with water that has a thousand pounds of salt in it. You float, you don't feel the water because it's heated to the same temperature as your skin. You don't hear anything, you don't see anything. And uh, I like to go in there and think about and all of this before we even get to the highlight of his space, the recording studio itself, which is jam packed with the latest and greatest tools to make sure that Joe's always sounding as good as he looks. After taking a look at the amazing setups Joe both has in his home and the workplace, you might be surprised to learn that he's thinking about taking a big step. If California continues to be this restrictive, yeah. I don't know if this is a good place to live. First of all, it's extremely expensive. The yeah. taxes here are ridiculous. Yeah. And if they really say that we can't do stand up until 2022 or some shit like that, uh -huh. like, I might jet. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Yeah. I'm not kidding. This is silly. I don't need to be here. The only reason why I'm here is that I'm close to people like you. Right. I'm, a lot of my friends live here. Yeah. The store is here. But if they, if they won't let us do the store, but we could do stand up other places, why would we stay here? Mm, where in Texas, though? I don't know, man. Hmm. Uh, Austin. I like Austin a lot. I like Dallas a lot. I like Houston, but. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I would live in Houston. I would it's definitely live very in... very humid there. Yeah. That's right. It sounds like Joe is packing up his belongings sometime soon and setting his sights for the great state of Texas. I don't know about you guys, but after getting a look at how he lives, the only question I have is why. Then I remembered something. Texas Fargo's individual income tax, which means that $100 million contract Joe just signed, can be all his if he makes the move. 
For those of you wondering, California where Joe currently lives would subject that contract to 13.3% in taxes, which means that Joe can save about $13 million with the switch. Hey, I'm generally someone who believes in the benefits taxation can supply to the general population. When you're making money like that, it's just something that you've got to at least consider regardless of what you actually end up doing. As for where Joe will live once he gets to Texas, well, that's still up in the air. At the very least, there's been no new house purchase that's been announced yet. But keep your eyes open, and when it happens, I'll obviously be giving you guys all the details on it. Well, that wraps it up for Joe Rogan and his properties. What did you guys think? Would you make the move to Texas and to Chile? At the very least, you gotta think that moving the studio to a whole new state would take a lot of work, but then again, Joe is gonna start cashing those Spotify checks real soon, if he hasn't already, and who's to say he couldn't just hop on a helicopter and fly to his studio? All he's gotta do is lay down a chopper pad on site, and he could probably split his week between both states. Problem solved. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and we can continue talking about Joe Rogan's living arrangements on there. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!